Hi dear students, welcome back to computer science class. In our previous session, we have learned special string operators like concatenation operator plus repetition operator into that is asterisk in and not in membership operators. Then uh, replicating like uh, that is what repetition is. Then uh, comparison operators like uh, equal to equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to. Then string slicing, getting substring. Then uh, some uh, more operators or examples of uh, all those operations. Then strings are immutable, cannot be changed. Then okay, these were the topics uh, we have uh, gone through in our previous session. And today we have uh, our final topic, the last topic of uh, strings in Python in uh, our plus one standard. Then uh, in this uh, session we will be looking uh, mainly at string methods and built-in functions. You know what actually built-in functions are? Methods are uh, another terminology for built-in functions or functions, right? So functions are. Uh, block of code that performs a specific task right and functions can be categorized into two built in functions and user defined functions built in functions are functions which are already defined during python standard library and that is one of the most attractive uh, features of python programming language because uh, it, it consists of huge library right a vast library then uh, user defined functions are functions which are defined by the user and whenever there is a uh, uh, not um, functions, uh, we do not have functions that perform uh, some task which is already available, we have to create our own function and uh, user defined functions belong to that category of functions which are defined by the user, built in functions are already defined, user defined functions are functions which are already means which are uh, to be defined by the user, right. So here uh, we will be having some uh, functions, built in functions that uh, associated with that are associated with uh, string string operations right yes so uh, it allows us to modify and manipulate strings actually string functions or string methods or built in functions allow us to uh, easily modify and manipulate strings so let's begin with the first function len from the term itself we can uh, explain len len is a built in function which can be used to find length of a string that is it. Length of a string means how many characters are present in their a string or there in a string ok. So uh, the syntax is len of str here str is a string variable ok it is a string and we have an example word equal to good morning. Word is a variable it is a string variable having uh, the string good space morning ok which is in uh, quotes. Then uh, we are applying len of word and it shows 12, you know how we are getting 12. How to uh, find the length of uh, word? You can start with 1 right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 space, 7, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and the last character g and uh, the uh, means uh, the, the number is 12. So we can say the length of word is 12, that is it. So it is a very simple function used to find the length of a string. Uh, can you give me one, uh, some examples uh, for applying this len function, uh, real time examples or uh, web applications so any, anything, anything uh, can you can you relate to? Yes, one application is of course um, uh, when you uh, sign up uh, into any account uh, you will be asked to enter uh, the password right, yes. So there are uh, different levels ok, different status uh, which can be given to uh, a password like low, medium, high, uh, strong those kind of things right. It is uh, simply based on the length, first uh, ok we can say it is based on uh, the length of the string and if it is uh, for example uh, if it is uh, 5 we can say it is low, if it is 8 we can say it is medium, if it is 10 we can say it is uh, strong right yes. And of course we know uh, it, it, it must be a combination of uh, most of the time it must be a combination of. Uh, uppercase, lowercase, special character, number, all those kind of things, right. But uh, the primarily we can say uh, uh, the, the prime uh, concern is to the length of the string or the length of the uh, what uh, the password, right. So, which can be an example for len, okay. We can we can have it for an example means example for len, okay. Yes. So, and uh, here it is uh, capitalized as our second function, first letter in uppercase. That is what capitalize is. Capitalizing means. Uh, from the word itself you can say capitalize ok, first word to caps, first letter to caps yeah. So uh, which can be applied uh, using the syntax str dot capitalize 
we are not passing anything to capitalize function instead we are calling the function capitalize using the variable okay in the case of len we have seen uh, inside parenthesis we can pass our string right len of word but uh, uh, using capitalize function we are not having uh, anything as parameter instead we have we are calling capitalize function using str hope you get it str dot capitalize okay yes and we have an example here str equal to welcome uh, str is a string variable having uh, the value welcome that str dot capitalize we are calling the function capitalize for str so uh, now okay in um, initially we have a w in lower case then after applying uh, capitalize after calling the function capitalize for str w will be changed to what caps okay uppercase yes so this is how capitalize works then we have split you know what actually split is split into that is uh, a string multi word string, a string can be split into multiple words okay break up a string at the specified separator and return a list of substrings okay so split function gives us a list of substrings and uh, the way we apply uh, split function is uh, following the syntax str dot split separator comma max split okay split function takes two parameters one is separator that is optional and separator is a delimiter okay for example space colon semicolon comma dot whatever it is so that's what separator is a symbol used to separate right separate two words two strings whatever it is then not specified white space will be taken like space or new line will be taken right and separator is a an optional optional here in a split function and is a delimiter and if we don't specify anything as a separator white space like space or new line will be taken then max split it's also optional maximum number of splits by default it is one okay yes uh, maximum number of uh, maximum limit means uh, limit on number of splits that is what uh, default means that's what max split is maximum split that's it okay so these are the parameters separator and max split then uh, let's have some examples x equal to blue colon green colon red okay then we are applying uh, the same way we uh, call uh, capitalize x dot split then we have the parameter call what semicolon right we have a uh, separator semicolon uh, to separate blue and green green and red right yes so we use uh, the separator as semicolon then this will be the result okay blue green red blue green and red uh, blue colon green colon red actually uh, here in uh, x blue green red uh, is given as a single string but we are getting a list of strings right a list of strings here uh, uh, as a result of split function blue green and red as separate strings okay then we have another example text equal to love your country and uh, here in the first case we have a uh, separate address uh, what semicolon and uh, here in the second case we don't have any what love your country it is space right love space your space country then uh, print text dot split here you can see no pair what separator is given in the first case we have semicolon what semicolon is given as separator but in second case we don't have uh, any anything as separator okay any symbol as separator so we have uh, seen here if we don't have any separator uh, if we don't specify anything white space space or new line will be taken as a separator okay for example uh, the result will be like uh, love comma your comma country okay yes so here it is semicolon separator here we don't have anything as separator so at the time what uh, space will be taken as a separator okay space will be taken as separator yes so that's the third function split used to break up string at a specified separator and returns a list of substrings okay and we have two parameters separator max split max split most of the time we avoid that okay separator can be given okay it's up to the user both are optional yes always keep in mind both are optional then uh, we have the fourth function replace replace all occurrence with new string uh, example now find and replace we have uh, the option uh, find and replace in most of the uh, what uh, word or editing softwares or we can say text editing softwares like word open office uh, writer whatever it is okay wherever it is yeah uh, excel okay yes then replaced or replace alt occurrence with new string and uh, we have an example str equal to this is a string example str is a string variable having the value this is a string example 
then we are applying replace print str dot replace the same way we call the function split capitalize we call the function replace using the variable okay str dot replace then we have to give the what the parameters is comma was what is that is comma was is should be replaced with was that's the meaning okay is should be replaced with was that means wherever we see or the interpreter finds is will be replaced by was that's it okay so th was actually this uh, the first uh, word is this right here we have one is so that is will be replaced by was so th was and again we have one is that will also be replaced by was wherever we have the occurrence of is will be replaced by was okay so was a string example so this is how replace function works okay so replace all occurrence with new string that's it then uh, we have the final topic state and transition okay so these were the top uh, these were the uh, built in functions uh, len uh, capitalize split and replace okay yes then state and transition you know what actually state is possible internal configuration of hardware or software caused by some external input or action okay this is exact definition and uh, when we uh, go out of the definition we can say uh, some states on state right in okay initially we can have uh, off off state okay when a computer is uh, off state off is a state on is another state when when you uh, press that uh, start button or uh, switch okay start uh, switch we can say it's in on state right so these are some of the states on state and off state then transition means when you when you power up the button when you press the power button what happens is at present uh, our computer is in off state and soon after pressing uh, the power button uh, the computer state will be changed from off state to on state that's it hope you get the transition okay state means possible internal configuration of hardware software caused by some external input or outputs or actions uh, for example uh, computer let's uh, consider our machine our computer as an example uh, we have two states on state and off state or off state and on state okay off state is a state on state is a another state then transition means when you power up when you press the power button of your cpu uh, at present uh, the computer is in off state and soon after pressing it will be changed from off state to on state that's it so transition means a marked change from one state to another state here in our case we have seen from off state to on state in response to external input or action okay so uh, here from this image we can see uh, this guy is uh, uh, what uh, changing or uh, shifting from this group to this group right yes that's it okay so initially uh, this circle consists of how many members 1 2 3 and this member as well right so four members and uh, this group consists of three members right so that was the status uh, initially and uh, transition means when this guy uh, jumped out of uh, the first group to another group we can call it as transition because of some external inputs or actions okay so these were the topics uh, for the day for the session okay string methods and built in functions and state and transition so this is all about uh, our fourth chapter strings in python and uh, we have uh, almost uh, come to the end of the chapter okay so let's have a quick revision and it's of course as uh, i'm always telling you this is one of the most important topics or concepts in uh, every programming language especially in python okay strings we have seen what strings are okay then uh, creating strings inputting quotes in a string single quotes and double quotes multi line strings traversing iterating special operators then replication comparison operators slicing then immutable then today's topics built in functions and state and transition okay so as as uh, i always remind you um, in in at the end of every class uh, you have to do uh, uh, first you have to uh, make sure that uh, you you're uh, getting every every theory stuff right okay after that you can go for practicals okay uh, you must practice each and every program every single program okay uh, even if it is small way big whatever it is okay so you must have a thorough practice because it's a programming it's it's programming of course um, at the end uh, it's it's programming right so we have to give equal importance to theory as well as practicals okay yes so this is all for the time being 
thank you thank you for watching have a nice day and see you in the next video take care